All right, for example five, or for lesson five three, you're gonna be solving equations that are uh, trig functions. And actually this is pretty similar to what we've done before with just finding values of sine, cosine, tangent, um, and the reciprocals around your circle. So you do need to know your values of your unit circle once again, thank goodness. Um, so we'll start with the first one here. So what we're gonna do with example one here is we're gonna start off with the two sine of x minus one. So we need to add one to both sides. And then we need to divide both sides by two. So when you divide both sides by two, you get a sine of x equals one half. Now your goal, you're trying to solve for the x value here. So what you wanna find out is you wanna find out, well, what values around my circle is sine a positive one half. Well, we know since sine is positive, then you have to be either in quadrant one or quadrant two, and actually both, because so, you have to find all values. So <clears throat> since you're in quadrant one and quadrant two, remember sine is your y value. So if you are, um, if you draw a triangle in quadrant one, it looks something like this, and your sine value is a one half. So if this is a one half, that must mean that this x value here, your angle, well that x is gonna be equal to a pi over six. <clears throat> that also means that if you're in quadrant two, then you would be at, if your reference angle is a pi over six, then that means that you would also be at 5 pi over 6. So these are your two solutions for your x value. Now, this is not your how you write your final answer because you know you can go around your circle um, numerous times. And so since it doesn't say in the actual directions here, it says just to solve, so you have to find all your values. Well, every time you go around your circle, you're going a distance of 2 pi. So if you go a distance of 2 pi, then you're going to end up... Um, you're going to end up going around a, a distance of 2 pi. So if you start at pi over 6 and you go around it one more time, then that means you're going to be back at pi over 6. So you want a distance of 2 pi in, or 2 n pi. Go around another time, you go another distance of 2 n pi. Same thing with 5 pi over 6. If you start here and go around your circle, you're adding 2 pi. So since it doesn't say an exact interval of what to uh, what to state or where to put all your answers, um, I wrote this here just so you had an idea. Then what you need to do for your final answer is you need to say, well, I'm going to have a pi over 6 plus 2 pi. And I'm also going to have a 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi. Those will be your answers right here.